So how did you get into voice acting? Yeah, I, um, in a way it has been forever, which is weird because as you get older, it doesn't seem like forever, except you look back and you go, this has been forever. Or mostly you see all the, the new people coming in and they're young and you're like, well, they weren't here when I started doing this. <laughs> um, well, I, I moved to California from Colorado to um, go to college at uh, Chapman University where I studied theater. I mean, it was my intention to be in California so that after I graduated, I could move up to LA, which is only like 40 miles north of Orange County to pursue acting, which I did when I got out of college in 1991. And as you're pursuing your performance activities in LA, you're aware of all the ways that people make money in acting. And while I was auditioning for TV commercials and all that kind of stuff, uh, a roommate of mine said, you want to take a voiceover class? And I was like, yeah, let's take a voiceover class. I mean, it wasn't surprising or anything because I knew what that was one of the avenues, but I thought, let's do it. And at the same time, I was working at Warner Brothers in an area which at the time was called New Media. So that meant CD-ROM, CD-ROM games, touch screen, things that today we're not even thinking about. Um, but all that media requires voiceover. Everything really requires voiceover. And so I was working um, for them and, and they would occasionally say, we need somebody to say this line on a, on a, on a promo for our, our CD-ROM. So on the CD, it would say, check out our newest release, Dating and Mating. I remember that was one of the things I said. <laughs> so they would have me do these things and I was more than willing to do them. And that put the idea in my head that, wow, look, at I, I, I can do this here for them. And maybe I could even use some of these elements for uh, a demo, which is, which is where my mind mostly was, is getting elements that somebody else paid to have produced to utilize in a demo of mine that I wouldn't have to then pay for even though that's not how it worked out, but that's what made me think, okay, this is viable. And then Stephanie and I took the voiceover class and it was during that voiceover class that I was kind of like, oh, this is, this is exactly the stuff I spent my whole childhood and um, young, young adult, adolescent life doing all this stuff, impersonations and joking and fake interviews on the tape recorder and realized that I was good at this. And I thought, okay, well, let's, let's add this to the mix of the things that I'm doing. And so I had a demo made and shopped it around and, and started feeling um, a little more of the love than I was feeling in on camera. 